When a body is immersed in water, it undergoes a series of physical and chemical changes that can provide crucial forensic clues. The process of decomposition in water differs from that on land due to factors such as temperature, water composition, depth and aquatic life. In water, especially cold water, a body cools faster than in air. This can slow down decomposition initially, but it also complicates the estimation of the time of death. The body's temperature quickly approaches that of the surrounding water, making traditional measurements of algo mortis less reliable. The body absorbs water, leading to bloating and swelling. This can cause skin slippage and a softer, more discolored appearance. Prolonged exposure to water, particularly in warm conditions, causes the skin to soften and peel. This process can obscure injuries or other identifying marks. The skin may appear pale or discolored due to the dilution of blood and the effect of water on the tissues. Cold water can slow bacterial activity, delaying the onset of putrefaction. In contrast, warm water accelerates decomposition. As decomposition proceeds, gases accumulate in the body, increasing buoyancy. A body may float to the surface after a period of submersion. Eventually, tissues break down, leaving behind bones and other resilient materials. Water can wash away soft tissues, leaving the skeletal remains exposed. Bodies in fresh water may decompose more quickly due to bacterial proliferation, although lower temperatures can mitigate this effect. Salt has a preservative effect, and the high salinity can slow microbial activity. However, saltwater environments often host scavengers that contribute to tissue loss. Currents, tides, and wave action can disperse bodily fluids and soft tissues, complicating recovery efforts and altering the scene. Fish, crustaceans, and other scavengers may feed on the body, leaving characteristic bite marks or removing significant amounts of tissue. Forensic experts rely on the stages of decomposition, body temperature, and environmental factors to estimate the time of death. In water, this becomes more complex due to variable rates of decomposition. The condition of a recovered body from water can provide clues about the time of submersion, the type of water, and any aquatic scavenging activity. Water can alter the distribution of chemicals and fluids within the body. Forensic pathologists must differentiate between injuries or changes caused by drowning, submersion, or post-mortem water effects. Understanding what happens to a body in water is vital for forensic experts.